Hello, this is Chris at the Adventure People. And I'm Toby. Today we're talking about physical ratings. That's not rating people's physicality, is it? Is it? <laughs> Could. Could be, it's not. It's definitely not Toby. <laughs> we are uh, rating, I guess, how much exercise, physical exertion you do on trips. Yes, how, how you want your trip to be, whether you want it to yeah. be relaxing, stroll, or whether you want Challenging. to really push yourself. Yeah. So on the website, every trip's got a rating from one through to five. Um, it's very simple ish kind of count. One is easy, five is hard, three is in the middle. But what does that mean? Um, and I think that's where uh, we're going to try and give some more context yeah. over to what those ratings actually, actually are. So let's start with number one on our physical rating list of one to five. So one is easy. Yep. But all of our trips are adventure as in they're not beach trips. You're going to go and see something. You're going to go and do something. Oh yeah, you're never going to be sitting on a beach no. just in one place for the whole time. You're going to be out and about doing yeah. things, having some kind of adventure. Yeah, so exactly. So you're always experiencing something. Yeah. Um, so physical rating number one is the easiest of the one, two, three, four, five. So what does that mean? I think it just means that um, it's not active. So whilst it's yeah. an adventure, there's a million types of ways you can have an adventure. It's the least active you could be. It's not yeah. the least active I could be. I yeah. could be very inactive. <laughs> but <laughs> so it's, it's like a ro ro the road trips, are, well, the more road trippy adventures, yeah. where you're not. You're not canoeing, you're not cycling, you're not climbing up a mountain. It's more refrained. Yeah, it will be mainly transport between places, maybe transport to see the national parks and yeah. things like that. Um, and then th there will often be walking involved, but yeah. you won't be walking grand distances. It's not with a big backpack and no. it's not, it's not it's none of that. It's, no. it's, a, it's a nice trip. It's a nice leisurely trip. Yeah. So Linda, our director, has just told us we're going to go to number two next. <laughs> So number two in the physical rating steps. So you're not doing nothing now. You're not at number one. You're not walking around a redwood eating ice cream. You're doing you're doing something now. So what what's encapsulated in physical rating number two, Chef Toby? Number two, you won't you won't be exerting yourself still, but um, yeah. there'll be a little bit more involved. So you'll be doing a bit of walking. Um, you might be going to a national park where you have to climb a little tiny bit, um, but not yeah. too much. What about what about like? Um, for example, you're in Croatia, one of my favourites, and you're on the sea, and you do an hour or two of guided sea kayaking. Well, yeah. worth it. Is that yeah. number two? Yeah, it depends on the kayaking. So some of our trips in Croatia, uh, maybe physical rating three, but we have like a kayaking and yoga trip. Um, right. So it's a little bit of kayaking, a little bit of yoga. Um, so still quite active. You're still yeah. sort of like doing stuff during the yeah. day. And yoga is very active if you've ever yeah. sweated one out doing that. So uh -huh. I'd probably put them higher than two. But yeah, it depends on the yoga. Yeah. <laughs> and the so I suppose with um, number two ratings, there's some exercise might be one, two, maybe three hours a day, but it isn't going to be a full on kind of piece of activity which is going to last six or seven or eight hours. Yeah. It's gentle. Yeah, and you're not just going to be on a, on a tour bus the yeah. whole time. You're, going, you're still going to be out and about. Right. On to number three in the physical rating. What would you call it? Physical rating calibrator? <laughs> yeah. Like Physicalibrator. <laughs> That's a song anyway. So number three, um, this is, this is, you're doing more, right? Yeah. You're doing three, four hours of activity a day. It's not super easy anymore. You might break into a sweat. Yep, I think that's the that's the thing really. You, it's it's half a day of physical activity. Yeah. Not necessarily strenuous, but um, and yeah, like you said, enough to to make you sweat a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So it's not super easy, um, but it's not still not too challenging. So kayaking for a you know you do kayaking around the islands, trekking. Yep. For a few hours, some of the treks we got you know you trek for. Three, four, five hours a day, something like that, uh, and cycling. Yep. I think actually we've got a trip in a cycling in Vietnam for 15 days. It's one of the more popular trips. I, I think I might be corrected here, but I think that's physical rating three. I'm pretty sure it is. A lot of our cycling trips in Vietnam are. Uh, physical, yes, yeah, so you do a few hours of cycling yep. a day. 
Um, and like all ages do them, so you don't need to be particularly fit. And then, uh, right, okay, we're on to number four now. We're getting to the upper echelons of physicality. Yeah, four will test you, I think. Yeah. It will definitely, definitely sweat, but um, yeah. it will also test you physically and potentially mentally as well with some of our high altitude treks. But, so the one that stands out for me always is the Inca Trail. Yep. That, you know, it's high altitude, um, it's quite a bit of trekking per day. Yep. Although you're not carrying a backpack and things, it's still, it's challenging. Oh yeah, you'll be doing three or four days of, of all day hiking really, um, and climbing stairs, climbing up, up hills, so yeah. yeah, it'll be challenging for sure. Yeah, and the same goes for, I think there were some kind of cycling trips like that, and then the kayaking trips, um, I'm not sure if we've got any number four, but if, even if we do, um, there'll be, you'll be kayaking a, a long distance yeah. over all day. So actually some of the States ones, some of the um, other Canadian kayaking trips, I think when you, you go over vast distances over the course of the day, can be quite tough. So on the number fours, once you get to that level, there might be people thinking, it sounds like it's too much. Yeah, no, number four, it, yeah it does, but um, essentially that's what people want. They want, yeah. they want to be pushed to their personal limits. So these are, these are when we say number four, these are things that that are out of bounds for anybody. Like if you're of reasonable health, um, you can go on these trips. It just might be that they're gonna challenge you a little bit and you might need to do a little bit of training for them, but they're not out of the realms of possibility for almost anybody. Yeah, I think um, for, for all of our um, physical rating four trips, I think what we usually say is if you can go out on a country walk for say four or five hours, if that, you're, you're good yeah. to go on one of our yeah. rating four trips. Yeah, absolutely right. Then we get to the final hurdle, the big one, number five. So, um, what do we think? It's challenging, right? Yeah, number five will challenge you, um, probably yeah. no matter who you are. Um, yeah. Let's go through some examples. What are the examples of number fives? Everest Base Camp, the most popular one. Kilimanjaro. Uh, some of our Mont Blanc tours. Yeah, lots of the trekking tours in Nepal, actually. In fact, most of the kind of rating five trips are they're typically trekking. Yeah. So high altitude <laughs> treks, typically ten days or more, so quite long. Um, often you're carrying a backpack, often you've got a set up camp. Um, physically you're doing um, you know, trekking for a number of hours per day. It's quite tough. Yeah, tough but achievable. Yeah. Um, so so with a bit of training, again these aren't out of the realms of possibility for for everyone. The idea is these trips are accessible to everyone, um, but on the number fives you might require a little bit of training. Yeah. Uh, like, so the Everest Base Camp is a good kind of illustration I think, where you are you're basically you're trekking up, obviously, over the course of uh, 10 days I think the, the actual trekking is, and it's over kind of rough ground in some cases, some steps, etc. Um, and you are carrying the day pack with you at least anyway of a few kilograms, six, seven kilograms. So um, lots of people will do some training, especially on the strength of the legs, and do some maybe walking over uh, local hills, etc. Yeah, we have, um, we, we've interviewed quite a lot of people that have done mm. uh, physical rating five trips, um, and some of them that we've brought in here for interviews have, have said exactly how they train. So if you want to find out how they train, you can check out one of those other videos. Um, we, we'll yeah. put some links in, into this video so you can check them out. Yeah, and look out because um, in the not too distant future, we've lined up some training videos <laughs> to demonstrate what exercises you can do, we can do when we're training for these trips, um, which will be interesting. <laughs> so, I think that's covered the physical ratings. Um, if you've got any questions or any comments, of course, um, just uh, type below um, and leave your thoughts. We'd love to hear about them. Um, obviously, please do subscribe. And we hope to see you very soon on theadventurepeople.com. Yep. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.